Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I refill a um, fountain pen. I have just received this Jin Hao fountain pen from Amazon. Uh, I will leave a link to it below. I already have one at, right here and it's already inked. This is, I am not a professional fountain pen user, nor do I know anything about fountain pens but I have had a friend ask me how I fill these and I was taught by a very um amazing friend Lisa how to um fill them and she actually had gifted me these two um so I'm very grateful for Lisa and all she has taught me so far but um and then also recently in the last week or two I've had a lot of friends um, message me about fountain pens and give me so much education. But anyways, um, and there are way better videos out there than mine. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is my very first own bottle of fountain pen ink right here. It is the Sailor brand. I will leave a link below. I got it off Amazon. I'm so excited. It is green. And I have decided that this, um, this is a Hobonichi notebook. This will be my swatches notebook and that's not going to go in any order specifically it's just going to go in here i do have samples of ink um, that my friend has graciously gifted me um so what i normally do because i'm very messy i get um a couple napkins out i know people use um old t-shirts too so let's just jump in. Like I said, this is a sailor ink and it is in green. I did a lot of research on what green ink I wanted. And um, I just went ahead and went with this one. I, I really do wanna try the Colorverse colors. Um, I already have a couple on my wish list in Amazon. Um, but I, I decided to go ahead and go with Sailor for my first ink just because Sailor is a very popular, um, fountain pen and, um, pen brand. Um, I know that this is going to be like a big no-no, but I really, I just want to do, you know what? Hold on here. I need, I've, <laughs> oh my, I've seen so many people do this and I knew I should have gotten one. But they have like a little dropler, drop, doppler, dropler thingy that they do little drops. You know what? Maybe you should just go get one moment. Okay. Let me adjust my camera here too. I went ahead and got a syringe um, because I don't have a little dropler thing. So this will work just fine. I only want to get like a drop of ink anyway. So. I have a drop of ink in here. <laughs> this is so like, this is not the way to do, <gasps> that's way too much. Okay, that's fine. People do so many fancy things with um, ink, it's kind of amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of swirl this around. Okay. And then that's just to have like a pretty... Oh, uh, it's leaking through. I think I just rubbed it too hard. Anyways, I'm not a professional, y'all. Um, whenever you have a converter, um, I just make sure it's all the way down like so. And then there's different ways you can do this. You can fill just the converter. You can fill through the fountain, the nib of the fountain pen. Um, I fill through the nib of the fountain pen because then it writes like right away. And you just want to dip. I usually dip the majority of the nib into the ink. I think, I don't know how much you're supposed to dip in there, but I just dip the majority of it. 
and then I go up and down a few times and I don't know why it's not filling. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's got some bubbles in it. So let me, I'm gonna do this one more time. It's definitely like a trial and error with me in fountain pens. Okay. So I have, I think I have it full majority of the way. Okay. I just want to make sure I have some ink in there because there's a lot of bubbles. Okay, I do have ink in there. Plenty of ink. And then just put this back on. I'm going to screw this back on. I am very clumsy, so I want to make sure I put the lid on. <laughs> put it back in the box. Um, and then what I'm going to do is fold this over. Make sure the majority of the ink out of my um, syringe there. Oh, I don't know if you guys can tell in this video. Wait, is this a shimmer? I'm trying to see in the light, but it kind of looks like it has a purple to it. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So this is the sailor. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. It's the K-Y-O-K-U-Y-A ink. And then, uh, oh, you guys, this is beautiful. Okay. A lot of people do like little vines and they'll do like leaves on the vines and it just looks so pretty. And I think I want to do that too. My friend, um, I, I gotta look at her handle. Hold on. Let me show it. Let me look at her, her handle, but she has been helping me so much too with, um, fountain pen questions. Her name is Kim and she's at ADH and then underscore D-O-N-E. So ADH underscore done. And here's her Instagram. But she has, she is so sweet. She, I know she does this with her, her swatches. Oh, you guys, this is beautiful. Beautiful. I'm gonna put some dots around here. I'm gonna do a little vine over here. And I have to say like, this is a really good starter pen. If you um, wanna start out using um, fountain pens, I mean, this is what I use um, right here. This pen is also really nice. They have like three packs on Amazon. I'll link um, that below too. Okay, yeah, this is like drying with like a blue hinge, like tinge in it. Oh, you guys, this is beautiful. And then it is a screw top. I know that might be frustrating for people, but I like it a lot. Okay, that's really cute. Let me think here. I wanna, do I wanna do a flower? I find it. This is a really silly looking flower, but. <laughs> oh well. That's cute. I mean, it is my book, so. 
Okay, you guys can see it does have some bleed through on that, and I really think it's just because I was pressing too hard. But it's dry. It is dry. Oh, except for the dots right there that I just did. But other than that, that is a really pretty green, you guys. Like I said, it has like a blue. Let me let me turn my flashlight on my phone and see if you can see the blue. Anyways, that is my very first ink that I've gotten. And this is on Tomoe River paper, just to let you guys know that as well. I was thinking I might do this and do like a, like a color swatch there, but I'm not going to, I've decided not to. Um, and then this is what it looks like on the napkin, <laughs> which it looks a lot darker on the napkin than it does on here. Anyways, that was fun. Um, if you guys have any questions, I will be happy to try and answer them in the comments below. But that's all for today, guys. Bye-bye. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching my YouTube video today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. You can also connect with me more on Instagram at Tailored Plan, and I will leave a link to all my affiliate links below and any coupon codes I might have for any shops or businesses. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!